celebrating the launch of the exhibition here that we've done with Susan Bernard. Um, it's also her UK book launch for Marilyn's and her exposures and we've organised an exhibition here at Proud Chelsea to coincide with that launch. Um, it's a really great selection of photos from Bruno, Bruno Bernard. Um, and we're just celebrating the launch here. We have Susan as a guest and she's given a reading and a talk. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary since Marilyn's passing and the launch of my UK book, Marilyn Intimate Exposures. And I'm in London, yay! Thank you so much for coming tonight. It's a privilege to be here in London during the spectacular Olympics. I mean, my gosh, I can't believe it. The um, daughter of the wonderful photographer Diane Arbus asked me once, um, Susan, is it a blessing or a curse uh, you know, to be the daughter of a well-known photographer? And I said, it's a blessing and I'm very grateful. You know, it's been amazing. Yes, everything will come right if you only believe that you see. Yes. Chapter One, in White, 1954. In New York, Marilyn walks out of the Translock movie theater onto the movie set like a shaven lamb. She is proxided, irritated, and raw. She is oblivious to the crowds multiplying on Lexington Avenue. She steps directly over the subway grate, moving four steps to the left, and comes down hard on heels with the stance of a lion. She is in her white sundress with a halter top gathered in folds accentuating real breasts. Legs are spread apart, feet in high-heeled white sandals. Her skirt is in the air, a billowing soft sheet revealing fleshy thighs and transparent white cotton panties. The crowds are silent. She is giving them what they want. She is not going to let them down. A fantastic response. It's, it's so glamorous and it's, um, it's, it's Marilyn. Everybody loves Marilyn. I think it's fantastic. I'm really a big fan of uh, Bernard's work. I think he did one of the most fabulous photos of Marilyn and it's great that she still celebrated so much. At the automat, men grow cold as girls grow old. And we all lose our charms in the end. But square cut or pear shape, these are. To be here and see what uh, someone like Susan Werner that uh, brings with her the work of her father, I think is important. Because, uh, as, as I just was saying, there is no future if people cannot talk about his history. And uh, history, uh, like uh, an important photographer like Ben of Hollywood, I think it should be remembered uh, now uh, in the future. The launch in the UK is, is there's a lot of energy around the book, and they love the photos in the, in the exhibition here. 